matagal-tagal na rin na Pano, it's been a long time <laughs> so actually I prepared English uh, teaching today but brother Matthew is not here it's okay <laughs> it's okay yeah, yeah we will uh, we'll try to speak in only <laughs> break kaya muna tayo <laughs> Okay, so good morning. So this uh, morning we're going to study the book of uh, John, First John. Let's uh, open our Bible in the book of John. Uh, this is a short epistle of John. John chapter 1. Let's read the whole... Uh, chapter from verse 1 until verse 10. Let's all stand up and uh, let's read this responsibly. First John chapter 1 verse 1 to 10. Okay, let's read this responsibly. That which was from the beginning which we have heard <coughs> which we have seen with our eyes which we have looked upon and our hands have handled of the word of life. <clears throat> that which we have seen and heard declared we unto you that ye also may have fellowship with us and truly our fellowship is with the Father and with His Son, Jesus Christ. This then is the message which we have heard of Him and declared unto you that God is light and in Him is no darkness at all. If we walked in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another, and the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanseth us from all sin. <clears throat> if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness altogether. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar, and his word is not in us. Let's come to the Lord in prayer. Father God in heaven, Lord, thank you once again for this opportunity to study your word. I pray, Father, that you will guide us. Let the Holy Spirit speak through each and every one of us. Give us a discerning uh, spirit, Lord, and help us, Lord, to understand it. We ask for forgiveness of our sins and uh, help us to prepare. Our hearts and also we pray lord that in everything we do may give glory to your name i pray father that you will bless the, this uh, message uh, bless your people and also lord give me wisdom as i study this word help help me to relate all the things that i have uh, learned from the truth of thy word thank you so much lord for everything we praise you and glorify your name all these things i ask and pray in jesus name amen okay you all may be seated so if we, uh, this uh, book of John is a, it's a short epistle, like what I've said. Uh, this is one of the book that John, the beloved, wrote during his time. Uh, actually, he, he wrote only five books in the Bible. That was uh, the John, this one first, second, and third John, and the Revelation. But here in uh, chapter 1, Mostly of the apostle who wrote the Bible, they introduced theirself. Uh, but here John didn't uh, tell that he was the one who who wrote this uh, epistle. But based on the context, you can compare it to the book of John. They are uh, almost similar. So the uh, but the theme of this. Uh, Epistle of First John is about fellowship. The John that he, the 
the book named after him was uh, it's about the the love of God. Now we can see here, most of the time, we look our salvation as a escape from condemnation. That's what we are uh, view on our salvation. We are uh, uh, free from the punishment of hell. And that's what's the negative side and the penalty of our sins. Uh, and we very often to remember the positive side of salvation. We forget the, that well, we are just focused on the thought that we are saved from and not to we are saved for. So sometimes you forget that, that we are saved for, for what? We, know we, we really know that we are saved from hell. We are saved from the punishment of sin because, because uh, that is really true. You can see that in the word of God that God will save, uh, save us. Christ died for our sins in order for us to, to enjoy, enjoy God and not to, to, to have the punishment of sin. You know, sin is a negative and destructive effect to humankind. But because of sin, we can experience the mercy of God. I didn't say that sin is good. But because of sin, we experience the mercy of God which is available only for human. It's not available for an angels. We cannot experience His grace without sin. So it doesn't mean that we need to sin more. That's what Apostle Paul said. Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. So, but uh, because of sin, we experience all of this. Some of the characteristic of God. We are thinking that Christianity is an escape from hell. And that is what it is. But we completely miss what God wants us to be. What is the real reason why God uh, sent His Son, Jesus Christ, to save us? Yeah, we are saved from the penalty of sin, the presence of sin, and the power of sin. And He offers salvation to restore His image in us. So that's what uh, the salvation meant to be like him and to have fellowship with him. This is uh, the theme of John, uh, focus on the fellowship. Now, this passage, Apostle John will show us that being a Christian is not only like a changed life, and there is more beyond that. Because we know that when you say a Christian, you are saved. Okay, I am free. I will not go to hell anymore, praise the Lord. But it doesn't end in that. And John explained here what, uh, what, is, what is meant by uh, being a saved person. So let's look at verse number one of John. It says here, That which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon, and our hands have handled, of the word of life. Now let's uh, category. Uh, let's see first the fellowship. What does it mean, fellowship? Fellowship. This is one of the reason why God created man to have fellowship with Him. Remember when God created Adam and Eve. So He gave the He breath breath on His nostril, and the man becomes a living soul. And we know if we are going to read Genesis chapter number one, uh, two, three, and until five, we can see how. Adam and Eve have fellowship with God. That's what God intentioned in creating man. And also to, to glorify God. And then, fellowship is sharing a common life. And also fellowship, it's involved a common purpose. And, only, and also fellowship, it is doing life together. That's what Adam and Eve did during, uh, the, before the fall of men. God has a perfect plan. So, ganun po, may fellowship. Ayun ang gusto ng Diyos na magkaroon tayo ng fellowship. When you say fellowship, it has a, you have the, the same love, same, uh, you, you love each other, you want to have, uh, to be with each other. That's what God wants us to be with Him. Then suddenly sin came into the world and tragically broke this fellowship with God and man. That's why God made a remedy and He promised in Genesis that He will uh, uh, 
yung uh, he will bruise the head of the serpent and he will send his son Jesus Christ to save us to redeem his image that was a uh, uh, broken now here in verse number one we can see here the source of this fellowship what is the source of this fellowship the source of this fellowship is the incarnation and crucifixion of our Lord Jesus Christ and we can see here that which was from the beginning which we have heard which we have seen with our eyes which we have looked upon and our hands have handled of the word of life Sina pinakita dito ni Janda yung that which was from the beginning it pertains to our Lord Jesus Christ remember when he uh, wrote in John chapter 1 John 1 1 in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God and uh, ay, ayun po ang sinasabi sa John 1 1 in, this, in his opening statement he described who Jesus is that he was from the beginning from eternity past he was there Jesus Christ was there that's why it will uh, it is a, a proof that Jesus Christ is God many um, religious sect nowadays is teaching that Jesus Christ is not God that Jesus Christ is only a good master a teacher he is just like uh, uh, and some are teaching that he is uh, the brother of Lucifer Mormons but John tells that Jesus Christ was God he was from the beginning he was the word and he was the life that's what we can see here in the Bible he was the living word of God if you observe in Genesis chapter 1 how God created everything it was by his word and God said remember that and God said let there be light and there was light and God said let there be like this and God said all his word and if you will read in John chapter 1 verse 3 in John 1 3 says there ah, all things were made by him yung by him it was pertained to the to our Lord Jesus Christ and without him look at this and without him was not anything made that was made so because of the word and he is the word because of God's word it was everything was created without Jesus Christ wala pong malilikha John is telling us uh, John is telling us we delivered nothing by hearsay nothing by tradition nothing from assumption we have had the fullest certainty of all that we write and preach that's what John is telling us when he wrote this epistle that which was from the beginning it is not just hearsay it is just not like a fable that we are telling you he is a reliable witness of Jesus Christ the idea that this eternal subject of John has been audib audibly heard he heard it physically seen intently studied you have looked upon and tangibly touched hands have handled would have enormous implication for his readers so we can see and we can rely that what we are reading or what we can uh, can uh, can believe is real because he was a true witness he uh, personally saw it personally handled it and personally studied and we know that John uh, that's why he called John the Beloved because uh, he was always with the Lord Jesus Christ he belongs to the uh, inner circle the three Peter James and John so John and uh, we know uh, some uh, we can read also in the Bible that John is always with the Lord Jesus Christ sometimes he he lay his head on his bosom no ganun ka ka close si John sa Panginoong Hesus yung nahihiga siya sa 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 lap ng Panginoon parang pero pag ngayon po nangyayari yan parang iba ang dating di ba makita <laughs> makita mo pastor tapos si brother mo nakaganong ganun kay pastor <laughs> parang brad parang iba na yan pero ito wala po itong malicia this was a pure love of John he because John really understand who Jesus is pa sana sabi ni John Panginoon wag ka na lang umalis parang 
Ewan ko kung uh, tayo nasa panahon na yun. Ako inisip kung nasa, kung nasa panahon ako ng Panginoon, baka ako yung sumisigaw ipako sa cross. <laughs> diba? Diba? Baka hindi ako maniwala sa lamat ngayon ako nabuhay. But John, we can rely on his uh, uh, what he is telling us because he saw it with her, his eyes. He saw, he looked upon and he handled it, it the word of life. With this statement of John, we can rely and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. So we, John is establishing his statement that his statement is not fable. It's not just a simple story. It's just not like a, a story from men that pass through the ages. But it is a real story. So, and in John 1, 2, For the life was manifested. It was the Lord Jesus Christ who was manifest in the flesh. And we have seen it and bear witness and show unto you that eternal life, which was with the Father and was manifested manifested unto us. Yung for the life was manifested, this life was manifested, that is made actually and physically real. John solemnly testified as an eyewitness. He said, we have seen and bear witness and declare unto you. This is what John is declaring to us. He personally saw Jesus Christ. He experienced the Lord Jesus Christ. And that this was the case. This was no fairy tale, no once upon a time. This was real. And John tells us about it as an eyewitness. You know, in the court of law, this kind of witness is trustworthy. Whatever you will ask, he can answer it. May nakanood na ba kayo ng mga trial case? Lalo na yung impeachment ni Erap. Di ba, sinubaybayan na, ewan ko sino nakasusubaybay dyan. Di ba, nasubay, naka-televise yun eh. Yung impeachment ni Pangulong uh, Erap Estrada. At napakaraming witness na lumalabas. At iba, makikita mo pa lang sa sinasabi nila when they talk, you know that this witness is not true. This is a fabricated witness. Because uh, when, uh, sino ba yung matandang uh, abogado? Talagang magaling mag, ano eh, mag, magaling siyang magtanong. Lalabas at lalabas na hindi ka totoong witness. But if you're going to put John in that, in that situation, for sure, he can say anything about the Lord Jesus Christ because he was there. Iba kasi yung, uh, yung sabi, we have looked upon. Iba yung nag-glance mo lang, nakita mo lang, di ba? Like when you see uh, an artist. I remember the first time I saw an artist. Nakita ko si Sino ba yun? Si Rico yan Si Rico yan yung namatay agad Diba? Nag-glance Uy, pam- Hindi pala kami nagkakalayo <laughs> Iba yung nag-glance mo lang Pero iba yung personal na experience mo Marami kong artist ang nakasalamuha Ah, hindi <laughs> Hindi kasi yung maatenan Alam niya naman yan Tatay kong commercial artist Na yung na Hindi <laughs> Yung extra-extra lang sa commercial <laughs> Yung pang ano lang Diba sa commercial ang dami mga lumalakad-lakad, may kulay. Ayun, ganun yung role ko. <laughs> yung uh, naalala ko yung first commercial eh, eh gusto kong makita sa camera, tumitingin ako sa camera, sabi ng director, "Pambira ka, tingin ka nang tingin." <laughs> Aalisin ka siya. Ay hindi na. Kasi baka makita sa camera, syempre, oh, oh. Dapat hindi mo alam. So, <laughs> ganun, pag nakakita ka ng isang personalidad talagang na sikat, excited ka. Oh, talaga tapos ikikwento mo pa, di ba? Tulad ng ginagawa ko ngayon. Kahit hindi naman kayo naniniwala. <laughs> Nakakita ako artista. Grabe, di ba? Tayo minsan, yung may makita lang tayo mga player, makasalubong natin, kwento agad. Alam mo, si ano, nakita ako. Pero glance lang natin. Hindi lang man natin talaga nakausap. Hindi man natin na uh, hawakan, nakamayan. But you know, here, John, is not only like that. He personally saw the Lord Jesus Christ He was with Jesus Christ. He saw when Jesus Christ uh, was sad, when Jesus Christ was mourning, when Jesus Christ uh, was happy, laughing with them and teaching them. So we can rely on this statement of John. So now we can see that the source of our fellowship is 
the Lord Jesus Christ. So John is telling us that we need to have fellowship with God. Now here in number two, the invitation of this fellowship to have a relationship to God and have fellowship with Him and His children. That was the invitation. Relationship and fellowship are different experience of a believer. Remember that. Relationship and fellowship. Relationship is when you become born again. When you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, repent of your sin. And that was, uh, that's the time you will be born again and you will have a relationship with God. But fellowship is another thing. It is an intimate closeness to God and with His, and with his children. This is, our, uh, this is our state in God. The relationship is our standing. Our standing is we are sons of God. But uh, fellowship is what our state. That's why we are uh, the, you know, the doctrine of sanctification. We need to be sanctified daily. Because our, uh, our condition as a Christian is sometimes we are uh, carnal, spiritual, something like that. So, in verse number 3, it says here, That which we have seen and heard declared we unto you, that ye also may have fellowship with us. So, John is declaring these things, this truth, in order for us to have fellowship with God and with the brethren. And truly, our fellowship is with the Father and with His Son, Jesus Christ. Apostle John is declaring and sharing Jesus Christ to us to have fellowship with the brethren, especially to God. And he said, And truly, our fellowship is with the Father and with His Son, Jesus Christ. This is the only time that we can have fellowship with the Father and Jesus Christ to have a personal relationship with God. In order to have fellowship, you must have a personal relationship with God. Di ba ang hirap magpag-fellowship sa hindi mo naman ka, wala ka naman kaugnayan, yung nakita mo lang, kwentuhan kayo, parang wala yung intimacy. But if you have, for example, your, your, my wife with my children, when we have fellowship, we are so, uh, it's different feeling compared to fellowshipping with other people because we have relationship. Okay, but our fellowship is not always like that. Especially, for example, your, your uh, father or your mother is far from you. Your fellowship is not that intimate. But here, Apostle John is telling us that in order for him to have fellowship, we need to have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. And that's the time we can enjoy the fellowship of God and with the brethren. This is, uh, this is the only time that we can uh, enjoy God in our life if we have a fellowship with Him. So that's, uh, uh, John is inviting us to have fellowship with the Lord Jesus Christ. And then in number, verse number four, number four, the purpose of this fellowship. The purpose of this fellowship is to experience real joy in life, to love God more and others. And verse number four, it says that here, And these things write we unto you, that your joy may be full. So, John, John, uh, in John 15, 11, These things have I spoken unto you, that my joy might remain in you, and that your joy might be full. It was Jesus Christ who was telling it. Because only the Lord Jesus Christ can give us the real joy. And we know the difference of happiness and joy. Happiness is uh, dependent, dependent, depend on, on the happening. That's why happiness, happening. What's happening in your, in your surrounding will make you happy. But joy is, uh, it is concentrated on deep within. Mahirap yung ano, di ba? Iba yung pakiramdam na masaya ka lang. Pero iba yung real joy. Because when you have a real joy, whatever circumstances you have, you have peace. And you can uh, say, praise the Lord. Diba? Kahit wala kang pera. Kahit wala kang uh, makain. Kahit wala kang mga bagong damit. Wala kang kaibigan. But if you have the joy, ayun lang naman ang kailangan natin. Kaya ayun lang, John was, uh, wrote these this things that we, he said, 
And these things write we unto you, that your joy may be full. And the, 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 the things that will make our joy full is the Lord Jesus Christ. He's telling that in John 15, 11. Jesus said, these things have I spoken unto you, that my joy might remain in you. He said, the joy of the Lord, Christmas tree. And again, the joy of the Christmas tree. Ayun ang, kasi naalala ko yung bata ako eh. Nakorek na lang yan yung ano na ako, 30 years old. It's my strength pala yun. The joy of the Lord is my strength, not Christmas tree. Kasi ngayon lang ako ni Milka. Salamat Milka at naka, naka ano ka rin ng joke ha. <laughs> Mga malalalim kasi yung joke ko eh. Ano, nawala tuloy ako. So, so, now, and also, how can we experience this real joy? In John chapter 15, 10 to 11, uh, sa taas lang, John chapter 15, 10, 11. If ye keep my commandments, ye shall abide in my love, even as I have kept my Father's commandment and abide in his love. And 11, these things, it pertains to keeping his commandments. Have I spoken unto you that my joy might remain in you? and that your joy might be full. Only by keeping the commandments of God will make us joy, will give us joy in our life. Because we have all, already have relationship. But oh, oh, even though you are a Christian, sometimes you, you feel miserable. You feel that you are you're so sad, you are full of worries. Ang dami nating iniisip, di ba? Lalo na wala um, parang uh, may inaantay tayo na parang hindi naman darating di ba <laughs> talaga iba yung panalangin natin <laughs> para lagi yung prayer natin talaga sweet arrow prayer <laughs> pero yung dumating na is uh, praise the lord di ba minsan nagwo-worry tayo pero sabi nga ni brother Wilson na uh, brad ako hindi ako kinakabahan <laughs> eh ito nagpapalakas ng love sa mga mga statement ni brother Wilson eh. Ibe. Ba may secret communication kay Brad. Hindi mo sinasabi. Okay, so <laughs> So this we can have joy and it will be full by keeping the commandment of God. That's what Jesus Christ said. And John 1:5, first John 1:5. This then is the message which we have heard. Ito na, sinabi ni John. Ito yung mensahe na nais namin iparating sa inyo. Which we have heard. We heard from Him directly. And declare unto you that God is light and in, and in Him is no darkness at all. Okay? This is the message that God is like. Yeah. Apostle John will only tell the message that comes from God and not from the wisdom of men. And that's what he will declare boldly for those who will listen. He's telling that Jesus Christ, He is light. God is light. And what is His message? His message is the Lord Jesus Christ. He said, this then is the message. The last part, that God is light. In John 8, 12. John 8, 12. Okay, John 8, 12. Then spake Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. This light that John pertained is the Lord Jesus Christ. He said that this is the message that we want to share to you, who Jesus Christ is. He is God. He is the light. And in Him is no darkness at all. Not even uh, a drop of darkness. That's why in heaven there is no night. Yeah, remember that? No more night. Because God is light. And in John chapter 9, verse 5. John 9, 5. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. So it is uh, really true that this light is the Lord Jesus Christ. So that's what John is telling us, that he, he is telling only the Lord Jesus Christ. This, this is the message. But nowadays, 
there are some if you're going to listen to preaching and you might you cannot see what, what they are talking about ano ba mga sinasabi ng mga tao na to but their but our our main uh, the core of our message is the Lord Jesus Christ that's what we need to tell them the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ it's all about God it's all about him not about us not about our achievement not about our experience ngayon pag makikinig ka na minsan sa mensahe puro kwento na lang di ba masarap din minsan mag uh, ano eh, makinig sa kwento pero anong mapapala mo di ba wala pagkatapos yun ako marami ko napapakinggan message ang natatandaan ko lang mga joke at ayun lang talaga inaabangan ko kasi para ma-relay ko rin <laughs> di ba di ba maraming ganun eh puro joke lang eh bumili nga ako ng joke book eh <laughs> hindi naman nakakatawa sa ebis ng joke book na <laughs> hindi naman nakakatawa English kasi nang bili ko eh. <laughs> pag English it's really hard to understand the English joke huh? really difficult because when you speak in English it's just like a joke <laughs> okay so so in John Ah, uh, sana ba tayo? Nagkalit na. Yeah, hey, John 9:5. As long as I am the world, I am the light of the world. This must be our message to tell others about Jesus Christ. It's all about him. Now let's go to the next verse in verse number 6. If we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie. No, yung sinasabi may fellowship ka at lumalakad ka sa ka kadiliman ikay nakahiga ay nasa sila ikay nagsisinungaling ka di ba walang katotohanan ang iyong mga pinagsasabi and do not the truth now we can see here the assumption of this fellowship there are some people or some uh, who attending the church are assuming that they have fellowship with God there are people in his time who evidently claim they have fellowship with God when they did not if you're going to study more so ito yung ano kay uh, inassign to sa aking sarili na every preaching ito first jan okay, si brother jong nehemiah malayong abutan to ang dami pang book eh <laughs> kaya lumayo-layo akong konti <laughs> at least hindi niya madadaanan okay so there are people who assume that they are saved Instead, just, that's why if you're going to study more sabi nga ni John uh, they left us because they are not with us because they are claiming that they have fellowship with God but they did not they lie eh? they, and they don't have the truth in them it's easy to say that oh I have fellowship with the Father I am saved I'm a Christian but yung ipapamuhay mo ibang, ibang usapan yun eh Napakadaling magbihis kristyano, parang ganito, di ba? Halata, parang, parang mabuting tao yan, ha, di ba? Pero, eh, nakita ko nga yung, ewan ko, nakita yung sa post sa uh, Facebook, yung kay Joel Austin, the ship's clothing. <laughs> ewan ko, totoo yun. Yung brand niya, ship's clothing. So, pwede kang mag-anyong ligtas. Pwede kang magsabing ligtas ka. Pero yung patunayan mong ligtas ka, ibang usapan po iyon. During the time of John, there are many people who's telling that they are Christian. Lalo na sa panahon natin ngayon, di ba? Kung noon na talagang uh, ito na nga sila na ngayon nagsasabi na personal nilang nakita ang Panginoong Yesus, na talagang totoo yung kanilang sinasabi at marami pa rin yung hindi talaga naniniwala o may naniniwala pero hindi totoo sa kanilang sarili. Lalo na sa panahon natin ngayon. Sabi nga ng Panginoong Yesus, mapalad kayo, nakita niyo ako. Pero ano sabi niya? But God said, it is blessed to those who believe that didn't see me. Sabi niya kay uh, Thomas, di ba? Mapalad ka. Naniwala ka dahil nakita mo ako. Pero mas mapalad yung mga naniwala na hindi nakakita sa That is a pure faith. We, because we, we, we can rely on what John said. This is true saying. Ano yung pag binasa niyo itong John? 
First John yung ma maalis yung doubt mo sa yung minsan may doubt pa tayo sa ating sarili na talagang totoong hindi mo hindi mo sinasabing totoong may Diyos eh, pa, parang hindi ko na totoo ba talaga yung sinasabi ng Biblia ito na personal na tong kasi isa ibang uh, boss sa mga Genesis parang kwento lang ah, kwento parang kwento-kwento lang to kwento ng ganito pero ito personal tong na experience ni John iba iba yung nakakwentuhan mo yung Halimbawa, ako, nakasama ko ang Pangulong Duterte. Kung si Bongo magsasalita, no? di ba? Kapanipaniwala. Pero kung si Brother Cedric, maniniwala ba tayo? Ako, kasama ko si Duterte, talagang magaling na presidente. Ah, oo. Pero kung si Bongo magsasabi, maniniwala at maniniwala tayo. Kasi nakita natin, eh, kasakasama siya ng presidente. Ganun din po si John. Kasakasama niya ang Panginoon. Now, during his time, there are people who assume that they have fellowship but they don't have Now, and John, and in John chapter seven, verse seven, uh, this is the last. The requirements of this fellowship. What is the requirements of this fellowship? In verse seven, it says there. But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus Christ, is, his Son, cleanseth us from all sin. So we need to walk in the light. That's the requirement of fellowship. We need to walk in the light. Walking, yung kanang, walking in the light of God. What does it mean, walking in the light? Walk with God. Be filled with the Spirit. Remember what uh, Pastor Jesse preached here? Walking in the Spirit. Uh, the time that we, when I read it, it's just walking in the Spirit. Yeah? We need to be, but when he explained about that, uh, we really understand how to walk in the Spirit. That's why there are times we are still struggling. There are times that we are, uh, we are uh, a fall down on, on sin because we are not walking in the Spirit. Now, this is the requirement to have fellowship with God and with the brethren. We need to walk in the light. And not only that, in verse number 8, now, if we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. We need to recognize our sin. Because there are people say, that, telling that, oh, I'm righteous. Like the Pharisee before. So they are telling that, oh, we are righteous. You are sinners. If you say that you don't have sin, you are in darkness. So we need to recognize our sins. And napakadali naman itong i-recognize kasi talagang, wala, tayo mga makasalanan. And there are people who thought they have fellowship with God. In verse uh, verse uh, eight, it says here, "If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. We need to recognize our sin." And also in verse nine, we need to confess our sins. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all our unrighteousness. Actually, this pertains to those who have relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. It's not, uh, sometimes they use it as a, uh, yung mag-share ng salvation. Hindi po ito sa mga uh, hindi nakakakilala sa Panginoon. It po yung may relationship na sa Panginoon. In order for us to have an intimate fellowship with God, we need to confess our sin. Yung mga naitatago nating kasalanan. Yung mga known sin. Ito yung confess our sin. Ayun. And He is just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all our unrighteousness yung sinasabi ng may narinig ako na sinasabi ng yung all unrighteousness this is the unknown sin that we commit sometimes we commit sin that we don't know di ba may mga bagay na iba naman kasi yung intention na nagawa-gawa mong kasalanan pero may times na kasalanan ba yung nagawa ko hindi ko alam Panginoon patawarin niyo po ako with that we can have a fellowship with with God and with the brethren and then In verse number 10, if we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar and his word is not in us. We need to accept that we are sinners, that we cannot do anything without God. So that's what uh, this verse, uh, chapter 1, uh, is telling uh, us that John tells us that uh, we need to have fellowship with the Father. And he shows how to have fellowship with God. I don't know what is our, uh, what is your uh, standing, uh, what is your state in the sight of God. 
do we have an in uh, yung uh, talagang yung uh, yung fellowship ba talaga natin ay intimate with God? Di ba napakasarap makipag-fellowship sa taong mahal mo? Naalala ko yung nililigawan ko si Teacher Evelyn. Ay laging parang araw-araw gustong makipag-fellowship. Di ba? Ay sino nakaranas yung mga nanligaw dito? Di ba? At saka yung mga nagpapaligaw. Gusto mo lagi mong kasama. Gusto mo lagi mong kausap. Kasi nandun yung pag-ibig eh. Nandun yung pagmamahal. Ay hindi nang nais ng Diyos. Kapag alam mo, pagmahal natin ng Panginoon, yung fellowship natin ay talagang... Pero madaling sabihin, uh, I love God. But it's difficult na. Now, the question for us today are, do we have a first, uh, first, do we have a personal relationship with God? That's the first question. Because during the time of John, there are many people who are uh, assuming that they have relationship. Better to be sure now than to be sorry. Diba? Siguraduhin natin kung talagang may relationship tayo sa Panginoon. Hindi, minsan nga, napagka, pag sinasabihan natin ganyan, di ba, sinasabi ni Pastor Jesse, para bang siya, napaka-judgmental mo naman. Hindi mo ba nakikita mga pinagagawa ko sa church? Di ba? Eh, pag gano'n yung statement, eh, malamang hindi ligtas yun. Di ba? Iba yung suriin mo yung sarili mo. Totoo ba? Totoo ba talaga akong ligtas? Ba't kasi ganito ginagawa ko? Wala man lang akong pagmamahal sa gawain ng Panginoon. Wala man lang kagana-ganang manalangin. Wala akong kagana-ganang magbasa ng Biblia. Tuwing bubuksan ko ang Biblia, dikit, puro laway yung Bible mo. Di ma, but puro mapa. Ha? Dapat lagyan mo ng punda para hindi yan. Ha? Di ba yung unan? Pag inalas mo punda, ang daming bakat-bakat, laway ho yun. Eh. Paano sasabihin natin uh, tayo'y ligtas at hindi naman nakikita. Wala naman tayong pagmamahal sa gawain ng Panginoon. And that's the question. Do we have a personal relationship with God? We need to check. Hindi po masama na alamin kung talaga tayo ligtas. At ako, personally, at kayo rin, alam nyo kung ligtas kayo o hindi. Iba yung marami dito nagkunwari noon, di ba? Asa na sila? Nandito pa rin. Ah, hindi. Hindi, hindi. Hindi ko Hindi ako nagja-judge. Hindi, joke lang. Maraming, ano, di ba, wala na, di ba? Ang simula nung dumating ako dito, it was 19, uh, ah, 2000, ano yun eh, 2009. Ang dami. Parang ilan na lang yung na, na, ang natandaan ko sila, Brother Alex, si Joan, sila Brother Rilson, sila Teacher Wilma, sila Teacher Ruth, eh, yung iba wala na, di ba? Nasaan sila? Sabi nga ni John, lumayo sila, dahil hindi naman talaga sila belong to us. So, ganun po ang tanong sa atin ngayon. Do we have a relationship with and do we have a do we have fellowship with him? Kumusta pa yung fellowship natin sa Panginoon? Kayo po ang makakasagot niyan. Maraming salamat at tayo po ay manalangin. Ang banal Dios na makapangyarihan sa lahat. Thank you Lord for uh, your